North Korea has accused the US Central Intelligence Agency and South Korean intelligence of conducting a plot to attack its supreme leadership Kim Jong Un with a biochemical weapon attack. They are claiming to be the victim of state sponsored terrorism from the White House. I'm going to give you all the details here for you on Inform Overload. Welcome back to IO, your YouTube source for trending news. My name is Charlotte Dobre, and here's the lowdown. Tensions on the Korean Peninsula have been extremely high for weeks. There is concern that North Korea might conduct its sixth nuclear test or ballistic missile test. An American named Tony Kim was detained in North Korea for being accused of attempted subversion and hostile criminal acts. He was arrested at Pyongyang Airport in April. Mr. Kim was in North Korea teaching an accounting course at the University of Science and Technology. The North Ministry of State Security released a statement saying, The CIA and the intelligence service of South Korea hatched a vicious plot to hurt the supreme leadership of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. They went on to say that the CIA is a hideous terrorist group that conducted meticulous preparations to commit state sponsored terrorism against the supreme leadership by use of biochemical substances. They also called Tony Kim human scum and alleged that he was going to commit bomb terrorism against Kim Jong un at a military parade and public procession. North Korea held an annual military parade on April 15th that showcased the country's missile defense. Overseeing the parade was Kim Jong un and his right hand men. Biochemical substances were to be used, including a radioactive substance and nano poisonous substance, which is a method that does not require access to the target. Their lethal results will appear after 6 or 12 months. North Korea also alleges that the CIA and South Korean intelligence paid Tony Kim two payments of $20,000 using a satellite transmitter. What I find very interesting is that North Korea has a very notable record of military aggression, especially against South Korean leaders. The long list of abductions and assassinations do not even come close to anything that North Korea has faced. However, just last month, two women appeared in court for being accused of killing Kim Jong Un's half brother. They allegedly smeared his face with a toxic nerve agent at Kuala Lumpur Airport on February 13th. The chemical weapon is described by the UN as a weapon of mass destruction. So, to answer the question, was Kim Jong Un almost assassinated? According to this information, it is possible he could have been assassinated if there was in fact a plot against his life like they say. It is believed by experts like Bruce Klinger that this recent accusation could be to redirect attention away from its own use of a chemical weapon of mass destruction. This has been Charlotte Dobre for Inform Overload. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to IO.